The winner will face happy for the playoffs. The loser will go down and face fortitude for survival. High stakes. Labyrinth and Soen both need points to make it into the TP League Grand Finals. Same goes for Fortitude, actually. As we still don't know how many players qualify. Could be 8, could be 16. Nobody really knows. So, yeah, we take a look at this Alta. A close look. The Observer doesn't, but we do. Oh, okay. Okay. You saw this? For a second, there was a Dreadlord. Just like in War 3 Champions Finals prior in a match against uh, Shao Kai. As we get some support for the War 3 Champions Finals. Thank you. But eventually, it's a DK, and it's also Farsia Headhunters. All that hype about unconventional strategies. And then we get more or less the norm. Even though Blade Master has become the norm for some players. So it was always most successful with Farseer Headhunters. And almost played it perfectly. Until he meet Happy, who crushed him. Acolyte dead already. There is a skull. Mercenary pool? Whoa, okay. What a creep route. Who does this? Is it fast expansion on both sides? It very, very well could be. Vamp Aura for Labyrinth is of course fantastic on ghouls and skellies. Holy moly! This is Orc vs. Undead, double fast expansion. Are my eyes deceiving me? No, this is what it is. And now it's scouted too. This can probably only happen between these two players. We know that Soen started a little think tank with Scars recently experimenting a lot. Blade Master Mirror Image is now this. Oh, DK. Not going for any run buys just yet. It seems like there's very little scouting on both sides. Wolves could be used, skeletons could be used. He sold the Vamp Aura, by the way. Interesting when you're a ghoul player. But this is a rather big attack now. Headhunters are hurt. Expo still only at three quarters. Oh, so and this could backfire hard. There's Merc support. Oh, he probably sold the Vamp Aura to be able to afford these mercs. Oh, wow, this is uh, quite some units lost already. But did so in by enough time? Yeah. Sidestep by Labby to the mercenary camp. He gets another Shadow Priest. Dude, he can dispel so much. The power of mercenaries. 
level four. Five minutes in the game, it's level four. What a build by Labyrinth. Hard counter so in so hard. For now. But Expo is up. And running. So it has some catching up to do though. He's out leveled, but he got good items. He kept his aura. He is on two bases. But facing level 40k is really not that easy. He has coil for days. Ghoul should still be healthy. It's not too many though. And Labyrinth seems like he's in full control, knows exactly how far to push it. And so it exposed himself. Yeah, you're right. Everything was very, very hurt after that Merc Camp creep spot. Didn't see Labyrinth coming. And then that's Gnarly. Wow, two more kills here. This is DK Shadow Priests, everybody. That's the build. Soen has a massive tech lead, though. Double Rex and Beastery. But so many mercs. If these mercs all fall, that's a gigantic XP donation. But for that, damn it has to step up. Four Shadow Priests! These wolves are useless. Dispel, dispel, dispel. Gone are the wolves. Tier 3 needs to do some heavy lifting. <laughs> some kills going so inside now. Shadow Priests lose a lot of value, of course, once they're out of mana. And this is a good donation. Shadow Hunter can't allow to die. Oh, the coil. Just slightly above the threshold. But what about the Fasia? Muddy coming in. He was so powerful yesterday in Infi's game on this map. And so he survives. So one's alive. The supply is even. Half a tech ahead. This is playable. Pretty reminiscent of Undead versus Human with that fast expansion, of course. DK makes it its way up to level 5. Got two mana potions, invul potions. Well, he has a lot to work with. But crumbs with the five gifties. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shadowhunter still waiting for the heal wave. He needs it desperately. Double level up for Labby. But there's a shop in position. No reinforced defenses yet. Could be coming. So when stuck at 52, that hurts. A little bit off with the timing. And we have another fight. DK Hex goes for the Fiend. That's what Soen has always been best at. Using the disable and AoE spells. To kill units, Kodo didn't go for a snack or couldn't really. And more headhunters are falling. One of the main sources of damage 
Now the wolves can do something in the absence of destroyers. And with little... And with little dispel. In general. Well, Labby's taking a solid fight, I'd say. Just gotta be careful with that DK. Used his mana potion already. Can coil from far behind. But again, so in the life. Tech-wise, Labby is evening things out. Supply-wise, everything's even. At the DK5 level. That's Labyrinth's biggest upside right now. TC is out, so is the Dark Ranger. First red spot. Endurance Aura, so he can go Storm first. Kinda nice. And super nice to take that away from Labby. But yeah, the big strength of Undead. Coil Nova, without getting in risk, so safe, so efficient. And then use the time when the cooldowns are running for more mana region with statues. Simple yet effective. Simple yet effective. Okay, seems like Soen is taking this fight or feels forced to take that fight. No silence just yet. Just inches away from level 2. Nova hits hard. Oh, there's still only level 1 heal wave for a long time. Stomp is fine. Headhunter safe, but no consumables to use for Soen while there is an entire bar in the inventory of Labyrinth. Chemico would enjoy. But Labyrinth is losing a lot of army, despite this inventory. The TC falls, but he was blasting through his mana already, and the aura is still provided, so his use is limited. Except that he's not soaking up experience, that is a downside. With the shop up... Soin can go for potions, and heal selves, but wonky positioning runs into yet another Nova. Labby's army is really small. Going for the Lich now. There's another coil. There's also a potion. Might not have checked the inventory. that shop the lifeline that Soe needs. Headhunters rebuild very, very quickly. But with the shop gone, what's even possible? Shadowhunter getting close level 2. He's waiting for the TC. The storms were phenomenal. But he needs those again. Calm, collected. The pressure continues for Labby. Good repair. For now, these peons could all turn into skeletons. But he doesn't want to use the Nova yet. The missing shop is painful now. Both can rebuild so much. Macro is pretty good. Kodo falls again. This might be the fight where Labyrinth takes it. Or loses control of the game. All depends on a lot of stops. That was money. Hex on a fiend. Interesting and kind of unnecessary, I guess. But yeah, we have Burrow. And no reveal against it anymore. Has to send something to the lab, but that's occupied. Fiend can hide in the ground, heal there. In the meantime, the Coil Nova games continue. Now also level 3 on the Dark Ranger. GG! So in can't hold this anymore. The expo would have fallen. And Labby takes it home. Was about to tip at a point in the fight, but then the TC nuke eventually was a little too much. The levels on Soen never came together. It felt like Labyrinth was in full control of this game. Very cool to see mass mercs. There's no undead playing this.
What is this? Successful. That's what it is. Undead mirror coming up, maybe. If Labby wins one more, then he's definitely there. Echoals is the map. And we could definitely see double expansion there as well. That was fun. And thank you, Carapaviator, for buying a Night Elf icon for the War 3 Champions. So in facing the lower bracket versus Fortitude, where he actually might stand a chance. We've also seen bigger commitments by Soen. Knowing that his opponent is gonna expand, he can go double Rex Headhunters all in. Not unheard of. And the game starts. Early game builds will reveal what kind of game this is gonna be. Neo live in Turkey and there's an internet cafe owner that looks just like your twin. Make a picture, send it to me. I watched a... Grub oh, 500 bucks for the World 3 Champions Finals. Let's go. The first of hopefully many. Uh, I watched... I went to an internet cafe in Turkey once, when I was on vacation there, you know? When you do that, when you go on vacation to Turkey, you're probably supposed to enjoy the ocean, the pools, the food, the hotel, the history, the bazaar, etc. I went into an internet cafe and I watched Moon vs. Grubby. That's how I spent my holidays, <laughs> back in like... 2005, I think. Fasia had hunters on so inside again. And it was talents back then, yep. Labby is going for an expansion once more. Is this the second fast expansion game in a row? Could very well be. And again, mercenaries! Mercenaries against the wolves! Why not? That is the biggest asset for a long time until the headhunters take over. Labyrinth keeps on innovating. Maybe it's a tailor-made strat against Soen because he knows what Soen is up to.
Great halls got buffed, of course, in one of the previous patches, built faster now. That also gives them more HP gain per second. Oh, Shadow Priest falls! And that is a cancel. It's also level 2. Tech started. Soon lost a lot of time. But got a level. And that's what, that's what was lacking a lot in the previous game. So it's tier 2 Soin, as he's giving up expansion plans now. <laughs> Another Shadow Priest, okay, he's very hurt now. Yeah, Soin has to go for some damage. He has to take Labby up the map. And ideally drain resources, because two base undead is hard to beat for any race. But the second Shadow Priest is down, we won't see the mass of this spell that we've seen before. He's using some of them, he's gathering a little bit of XP, but yeah, not nearly as powerful as LR. But he's running with a hurt army into a DK with ghouls. That's another headhunter down. And he will get level 3. Yeah, will he? Is that above 100 HP? Looks like it. Oh, this could be a great save for Soen if he follows through. Or a triple kill eventually. And then Soen is broken. Okay, one kill. That's about it. He's trying that expo again. That chase in the middle opened up the bottom left. Labyrinth wasn't there. Labyrinth wasn't scouting, not sending a ghoul anywhere. Not a skeleton. So this expo might work, but it's later. That is a delayed tier 3 as well. But it's... is it better levels? It should result in better Shadow Hunter levels and faster Shadow Hunter levels. But DK can't complain either, especially with Watch Award. He always sees him coming, tier 2 is running as well. And I definitely put Labyrinth in a favorable position. Very uncharted waters now. With both having a second base. Spirit Tower is coming, attack upgrades. Labby will probably play it exactly as he played it before. Don't give your opponent too much time and space to level. Get the fiends out and then snipe one unit after the next. Huh? Can he prevent the steal? He needs a hex soon. Okay. That's early. Speed scroll, hex again. He wants this DK so bad, there's no TP. So when realizes this, damage, is it enough? He's trying to block. He fights his way out, there's a next hex. 
needs another spear or something and kills the decay. So in with pure fighting skills outmaneuvers Labyrinth, who's playing this with a thousand gold prior to the Lich arrival, plays very greedy in favor of that marketplace last hit. A tavern revive for that decay. Oof, that was expensive. Death packed even, and yet he died. Oh, this is painful. Oh, that was so expensive. I mean, he can't afford it. It's just that it delays everything else. And more units are falling. Lich is out. He can play Nova, but tier three is so far away. Hex again, surround again. It's a straight up dieback. Oh, Labby getting lost in his own maze. And that Shadow Hunter. He gets an extra pipe this evening once this war is done. Oh, Labyrinth was very, very, very greedy here. So now the Lich is underleveled. It's basically vice versa of what we've seen on Last Refuge. High level orc heroes. A very rich orc. I negative. Thank you very much. To me or rather I positive. Thank you for the prime. If you guys are on Amazon Prime and didn't give the channel your sub yet, we gladly take it. Doesn't cost you anything. Part of the Prime subscription. Canudi, thank you very much for the 8 month resub. That's what I'm talking about. Lich is pretty strong, but DK isn't. No level 2 coil. Far away from 4. That fight at the marketplace. Probably once so in the game. But it's still undead on two bases. And only quote unquote Farseer Headhunters. Jagatuf, thank you for the 3 month resub. See, there were some primes in there. How fast can so and explode into supply to overwhelm? There's not too much to creep anymore, but there's definitely uh, two spots that he can take. The Crestfallen, thank you for the 72 month resub. That is six years. It's time for anniversary, Neil. I hope you made a reservation at a fine restaurant. We're gonna have goat, my man. Six years, dude. I appreciate that for anniversary, you break your usual message. Away we go. This is the big fight. Fiend positioning looks nice. Opening to the fight, not bad for Labby, who is down in supply, and this time he's also facing a level 2 TC. Crystal Ball against possible Burrow. Not too bad, actually. But the Storms. The Storms are nasty and they're plentiful. This time, Labyrinth couldn't go for Black Arrow first. He needs the silence. Ooh, nice on Burrow. Prof Kukuk, thank you for the sub. Yeah, Labby, what do you do with this game now? What's your way out? Destro, Fiend, and Ghouls down. I feel like this game is bound to the back of the Lich. And Dark Ranger, maybe. 
Ooh, you guys created a hype train. Appreciate that. But yeah, we Labyrinth needs Black Arrow. He has so much gold. He's trying to be a little cheap to not go into upkeep, but feels like, yeah, I, I have to do this now. Otherwise, I will be completely overwhelmed. Items aren't necessarily the greatest. Orb of Lightning on the Shadow Hunter. Okay. We get dust as well. And Invo Potions against uh, the Silence. The TC is level 3. The XP chart is insane. That non-existing XP chart. Because there is some information that we display that the Chinese overlay doesn't. Bases are fortified and breaking on that bases is tough. So one respects that, pulls back, plays the shop control, going for shaman. And witch doctor stasis trap upgrade. What? I can see a witch doctor for the watch award. So no bloodlust, but rather... Rather witch doctors. Okay. Good storm to open things up again. Chain lightning always a kill. Blasting through some mana, taking damage. Big damage! Invo potion needs to be popped only for the lich. As I said, this lich is a weapon. Two heal scrolls, mana potion. Supply is a little deceiving. Units are dying left and right. Can we start the skeleton snowball? It looks like this is too much though. The concave of Sowin with 2 upgrades is gnarly, but he doesn't want to lose too much. The heal wave arrives too late. Master training on the witch doctors as well. One dog is amazing late game for map control. Yeah, but you don't really need the master training for that, do you? That's the intriguing part. It takes a lot of time. He had to rebuild some headhunters as well. Got the double racks again and the third attack upgrade too. Abby is pushing. That investment. But crumbs, thank you for the five gifties. The hype train is alive and kicking. The witch doctor upgrades is just sunken cost at the moment. But once they're up, they are a super nice support unit. But they won't help in this defense. High level heroes for Soen. Repair needed. And still 80 food. TC nuke, no invo potion on him. Headhunters can't connect. It's a weird choke for Soen to fight into. Shadowhunter exposed as well. Uh oh, the Nova, everything is clumped up. This position is garbage. The backline is kind of safe, I assume. TC in trouble, you can't die! The heal wave too late! Soen, what are you doing? Witch doctors are coming in now. Needs the heal ward, but it's too late! A disastrous fight if I ever saw one. Nice positioning by Labyrinth, but that cannot happen. That's an invite to one of the biggest throws in this TP League. Oh, he'll kick himself. All that damage basically wasted. T 
TC's dead for another 90 seconds. He's getting some kills, okay. But there's still a heal scroll and an info potion on Labby. <laughs> Remember, folks, Carson once said that Soen has the best bike crew in the world, better than Happy. Someone asked? Yes, better than Happy, Carson said. <laughs> nice copy pasta. <laughs> Base is still up, but burning. But crumbs, thank you for the sub. Jesus Christ, that name. <laughs> this is unwinnable at this stage. The big fight, the positioning, it all came together. And these witch doctors, by the way. Zero impact on the game. Zilch. And all that after the mid game was clearly won by Soen. Broken nose, no base in the north. Yeah, someone is trying, hoping for the TP, a uh, TC to come in. But this is an utter disaster. You feel bad for Soen, playing so good for so long. Okay, Stomp was magnificent, not gonna lie. A level 5 DG. It's all over. We get an undead mirror in the winner bracket final. Labyrinth takes it. Second map absolutely did not look like this would be possible. But my god.